The definition of broadband internet is changing as the FCC recently decided to increase the minimum internet speed of US homes and businesses to 100 megabytes per second. We'll cover why this decision was made and who it impacts as we sit down and sync up with Rocket IT's weekly technology update. Hello everyone, I'm Chris Swinson, Technology Insider here at Rocket IT, and welcome to Sync Up, your new home for genetic technology news. Nine years ago, FCC commissioners argued that internet service providers should offer a minimum download speed of 100 megabytes per second. Obviously, those arguments didn't initially hold, as the broadband internet speeds in the United States have continued to be 25 megabytes per second. But let's take a moment to think about how much the internet has changed in just nine years. Streaming has increased in popularity, security cameras now require a reliable internet connection, and point-of-sale systems lose functionality without the internet. These examples reflect our digital evolution in a short span of time, and they serve as an argument as to why high-speed internet should no longer be a luxury, but rather a standard. Taking this into account, the FCC has finally come to an agreement and altered its stance to redefine broadband speed requirements. Now, broadband internet means a minimum download speed of 100 megabytes per second and an upload speed of 20 megabytes per second. Now, for modern homes near metropolitan areas, this change might not mean much. But for individuals or businesses in more rural areas, this change in broadband speed could make all the difference in keeping them connected. In the United States, 28% of rural areas rely on broadband speeds. As you can imagine, this has severely limited the opportunities for information, education, and business in those areas. The FCC's new definition aims to bridge this broadband gap by setting a higher standard for internet providers. While there hasn't been clarification on when this change will go into effect, it's likely that internet service providers like AT&T, Comcast, and Spectrum will be forced to move quickly. In the meantime, for organizations that rely on broadband internet, there are some steps you can take to ensure your IT environment will be able to capitalize on these new speeds when they do arrive to your area. Simply contact Rocket IT using the link in this video's description, and a member of our team will be happy to help lend a hand. And to stay up to date on Trinity Technology News, hit that subscribe button and the bell to catch us on next week's episode of Sync Up with Rocket IT.